Coming up tonight, enter the future with the author of Exit Strategy, Douglas Rushkoff. Plus, use Google and TouchGraph technology to create a visual graph of results. And should a man be allowed to wear a kilt on national television? Live from the Tech TV studios in San Francisco, it's the Screen Savers. Savers. I'm Patrick Norton. And I'm Leo Laporte. We thank you for joining us on the All Kilt Screen Savers episode. Very special screen This is where we show you the coolest new stuff and our needs. Everyone. Oh. Well, is this know, okay? I feel so strange. Guy, is it okay if, if we're I wearing kilts? So... Do you guys mind? Oh, yeah, it sounds my good. goodness. All right. I think good. I'm chafing. Oh, my Darcy? goodness. Darcy? Darcy, do you mind if we... What about the guy? Oh, the guy's in crew. She's got the hip hugger camera. Kill. <laughs> camera. No, apparently Look at all the camera guys are wearing kilts. This is this is really going on. Stephen, Mr. Porter, are those pants you're wearing? Are you a weirdo? <laughs> the reason I gotta say the reason we're doing this uh, is Patrick, as you know, is known for his kilt, and and stopped wearing them. And we got lots of letters. We, there was a whole campaign. A kilt. Get that camera off the ground. Yeah. I am not working. Get back. There was a whole campaign. Now I know why girls cross their legs. There was a whole campaign <laughs> of foot, thousands of letters, yeah. and we heard you. And so, thanks to the great folks at Utila Kilt, we're all wearing kilts. Mm -hmm. These are the they Patrick's be here. Leo's wardrobe provided by Utila Kilt. UtilaKilt.com. Coming well, up on today's show, we want to thank them. Thank actually, you. they loaned a lot of... This is their personal kilt. Yeah, because they're shipping so many kilts, they couldn't, like, spare kilts off the line. They actually loaned us their personal kilt. I mean, kilt. this isn't like a new kilt. This has, like, been worn by somebody? Yes. <laughs> Coming up on today's show... We got some Lysol. I've seen your wardrobe, Leo. No, this aren't I like this, you know? <laughs> Get your hands on a network with a new tool to visualize interrelated information. You're insulting a lot of Scotch people. No, I think I'm doing quite a good job. Plus, Douglas Rushkoff discusses his open source novel, Exit Strategy. And let's begin by dancing. Everybody, everybody! No, no, we're going <laughs> to... We're going to... every. No, but yeah, the audience is going, why today of all days? Why? Little did you know, Leo always dreamed dancing the lead in Riverdance. You know, I was hoping, though, to get a mini kilt. No, no, mini that kilt would be good, wouldn't it? Let's just go news. Woo! All right, news. News. HP is taking aim at white hat hackers who publish flaws in, well, HP's software using a unique weapon, or maybe not so unique, the digital, they're invoking the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Wait a minute. Yeah. If I find a bug in HP software that's a security flaw and I publish it, they're coming after me? Kent Furson, a Hewlett Packard vice president, sent a warning to a security research, a loose organization of guys and, and gals called Snowsoft, after a member of the firm posted information about a hole in the True64 Unix system. Oh, dear. Furson claimed that the company violated the Digital Millennium Copyright Act and several computer crime laws. Oh, that's just shocking. It's pretty sad is what it is. So basically, somebody did what they normally do. They do it for Windows. They do it for Mac. They obviously do it on the open source operating systems. They pointed out that there's a security flaw. HP's response, not thank you, not we'll fix it. They, they pulled out the lawyers. Unbelievable. Or at least threatened the lawyers. Yeah, come on, guys. You that's know, not, even Microsoft hasn't done that. I mean, yeah. Microsoft doesn't like it. They hate it, in fact, when security firms release the hole before they give Microsoft yeah. a chance to fix it. Uh, and I understand because no. they're saying, well, we, you know, look, you release the hole, you're telling hackers how to get into our system. At least tell us first, give us a chance to but patch yeah, it. The problem is we don't even know that because CNET, you can see that news who was reporting on this says HP refuses to comment on the letter. We don't know if this was a rogue, angry vice president or if it's an official policy. HP, let's get some answers. We want to know what's going on. It also underscores a flaw in the Digital Millennium Copyright Act because, in fact, they're justified under the DMCA. Well, yeah, but actually, under the DMCA proxy servers... And in theory, under the DMC, actually having a web page open on your desktop could be... That's why it's a bad law. It's a very it's a vague, law. very scary law. Speaking of laws, AOL might be in a little bit of trouble. 
there's always been talk about AOL's accounting practices. They, I, as I remember, they used to charge back the cost of acquisition of new customers as no, a no, capital let me translate cost. That. That's the tens of millions of CDs and before that floppy disk that they used to mail and, out and, and put in newspapers. And that was kind of funny. And if you took that out, their profit statements they were, were, not, were non-existent, in fact. They, the, if you include the cost of acquiring their customers, as I remember, for the first 10 years, mm -hmm. they had no profits at all. Well, the Justice We're Department is now looking into a, a things that they did just before the merger. Mm -hmm. uh, accounting practices of what is now AOL Time Warner, uh, Warner, a preliminary investigation, unclear whether it's criminal or civil, although I'm hearing from my sources it may be a criminal probe. Really? The SEC is already looking into the company. After the Washington Post, they did a three-parter uh, reporting on some curious transactions on the AOL side. Um, AOL Time Warner says, we stand by our accounting practices and are cooperating fully with the investigation. Sounds a lot like Enron and what's that I other company? i got to tell you, corporate America is not looking good these days. No. Um, it's well, not big money-making corporate America. And then you wonder why the stock market's a tank. Yeah. Have you ever heard the word flesh met? Excuse me? I think it describes today's show. Flesh met. Yes. What is flesh met? It's what's happening right now between my thighs. <laughs> <laughs> You talk chafing. This is a whole nother. No, it is not what is. No, that's not what flesh met is. Um, we, you flesh met me. I flesh met you. What? We flesh met all oh, each other. Wait, 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 wait. This is like, this is one of those fancy cyberspace highways. It is. It's a new jargon. It's me actually meeting somebody meeting in the flesh. Ah. If, and, and the truth is, nowadays, we have many, many friends we've never met online. I have many friends who visit my website or so on my message board I've chatted with you, which might mean I physically met you. They want to differentiate between like a non-existent email, web blog, message board right. meeting and a physical meeting. Yeah, and uh, I'm sure Doug Rushkoff was here. You have many non-real, non-in-the-flesh friends. And, and it's, it's kind of like when we now talk about RL, we're going to talk to Doug a little bit later on, but his, yeah. he had people write his book he's never met, help write his book. Mm -hmm. it's in the, it's a, nowadays you talk about RL, real life versus your computer life. Flesh met versus virtual met. Our question of the day takes this into account. Can you have a friend that you haven't flesh met? Yes or no? Now, Funk and Waggles is still out on whether flesh met is one word or two. Well, okay, according to the OED, a word's got to be in print five times before it becomes an official word. Don't go anywhere, because if you do, you'll miss. Oh, who knows? But after the break, quick camp and more tilt. All that when the screensaver continues. Leo, don't jump. Do not jump. <laughs> <laughs> 